Good morning. This is my Disney shopping haul. First off, all the plastic containers. This had a drink in it. This had a drink in it. These three were separate. One had a drink. Wait, this had a drink. This had donuts. And this had popcorn. Popcorn bucket. Two cauldron buckets. I got one for my twin sister. And then Oogie Boogie. So these actually light up. Um, the top lights up and they glow in the dark. And this one lights up and it probably glows in the dark. These all make noises and do stuff too. I just haven't removed, you know how like when you buy something battery operated, there's a little plastic tab. I haven't removed the plastic tabs yet. I'll do that when I get home. So there's all the plastic popcorn buckets. These are all the plastic cups that uh, the Tiki drink came in and then just a couple small containers that food came in. They're all plastic. Even this Moscow Mule, this is plastic, but it's heavy enough plastic that I'll try to take it home. And then I just kept this random cup because I did like the Halloween design and I'll use it somehow in a scrapbook. These items were bought. This is, it's a light up um, castle goblet that I we got at Beauty and the Beast um, dinner. These are Oogie Boogie Glow Dice, a straw with a headless horseman charm and a straw with a light up Mickey tire pumpkin. They call it a tire pumpkin, which it really does look like a tire. So all these, of course, cost extra. This is the Haunted Mansion theme stuff I bought. This is a little Skyliner toy with Haunted Mansion on it. This is the Haunted Mansion Christmas stocking of Madame Leota. And this is a little Harvey small coin purse, I guess. Shag and Harvey. This is all the Halloween stuff I bought. This is a mini tea towel, masks, face coverings, this lounge fly purse, this tote bag. These are the tote bags. They always have something when you check out, like normally $19.99, but if you purchase something, you can get it for $12. So I, I thought it was adorable. I got that. And then this Mickey head headband. Oh, and then one of their, I forgot. This is just one of their trick or treat bags. I'm carrying this on the pl plane. That's why I have it over here. But this is the Halloween themed stuff. These are the plush that I bought. This is a Main Street mini. Um, Big Thunder Mountain. You could only get these at the park. Normally you order these online. It's like a monthly thing. Like this is nine out of 12 months. It's pretty popular and they sell out pretty quickly. So that was cool that they had them here. And this is the new Duffy's friend turtle. I don't know his name. And then these are two of the um, shoulder plushes I was talking about, Ratatouille and Mushu. This is just some random odds and ends stuff I picked up. I saw this at the Polynesian. I thought that was adorable. It's like a little desk plate. And then an Orange Bird Park Pals. This is like a old time 80s uh, hugger. And then some mints for my nieces. Some chocolate for my nieces. Um, this is a cake, cake, I'm sorry, cake pan. This is for me. And this we got in the China Pavilion. It's just a cute little piggy bank where you put the coin on and the cat comes out and grabs it. I've seen these before. I just thought it was adorable. So we grabbed one. These are the scavenger hunt um, math, uh, maps. And then these are the water bottles that were the prizes. These, uh, the maps cost $7.99 each. So essentially you're doing a scavenger hunt and basically paying $7.99 for the water bottle. And then these two plastic sporks, pretty much these were available at every single food station. I think they were $2.50 each. These are left over from the Flower and Garden Festival that only happened for a week before Disney shut down. Got one for me and one for my sister. They're just adorable. We both like these. Um, so he's the, I forget the name of the bee, Spike, I think. He's the theme every year. So every year the Flower Garden Festival is Spike. The food and wine is Remy. And the art festival is Figment. So they're pretty consistent um, on the character that is the host of each event. And this is Flower and Garden Festival. So since the merchandise is from the last event, they had it 30% off. 
since I have an annual pass, I also get 30% off. So technically this t-shirt was 60% 6, off. And then I got these salt and pepper shakers. I just thought they were adorable. Well, I guess they're both salt, but that's okay. And then, yeah, so all that, this was uh, basically 60% off. And I think that's it. That's, that's all the stuff. And as you can see, I'm still working on packing. It's, it's a little messy, but I'll figure it out. I, I think we got it. We got it ready. It worked. Everything we bought fit into our four suitcases. Of course, we also had um, clothes and some other stuff I didn't show, but it all fit into four suitcases. Now we're just getting ready to load our car and head to Hollywood Studios. One more clip to add to my shopping haul video. So um, on yesterday, the last day at Disney, we did stop at Hollywood Studios for about three hours before we had to head to the airport. And so we went to Galaxy's Edge and I bought this Wampa and he is so cool. He even makes a sound if I can get him to. Isn't that neat? So, and he stands up and he poses and it came in one of those cool boxes um, if you've been to Star Wars or Galaxy's Edge, they have boxes to put your plush in, kind of like Build-A-Bear does, like a little cage for him. I'm just not for sure where I put that at the moment. And then I bought this little plush for my sister Holly. She loves the child. And I got an Ewok. And then this is just um, a music box. I think that's the Death Star or something like that. Isn't that really cool? Music box. And that is it. We ooh, still making a little noise. Um, so yes, it was a great Disney trip. And I, I did buy a lot of stuff, but um, most of the stuff I got 30% off for my annual pass discount. Like the food I did not, they don't give a discount on the food. Um, but all the merchandise they do. So usually in the past, annual pass holders have only had a 20% discount, but with the pandemic and because you're not getting as many services as you normally do at Disney, they did up the uh, annual pass to 30%, which is actually a pretty good saving. So um, yeah, that's not really an excuse to buy more, but uh, I don't know, it was my birthday. Uh, birthday trip so I just kind of bought a little more than I normally do and yeah no regrets it was a great vacation thanks for watching and I will see you later